Is Marcus Anderson the father of little baby Archie? Uh, a lot of people have noticed how close Marcus Anderson and Megan are. They've been besties for life. He's one of her true ride or die people. Marcus Anderson lives with Meghan Markle and it's a threesome and this is why Harry is so depressed. Uh, obviously, Meghan, Meghan used a surrogate for this child. She didn't carry this child in her body. The way that that would have happened, okay, the best way for that to happen is Harry donates sperm, Megan donates an egg, so there's a lot of medical people involved, there's a test tube involved, and then the surrogate is implanted with Megan and Harry's baby. Okay, the only way that Marcus Anderson could be the father of this child is if there was an oopsie, okay, between Marcus and Megan, and probably Megan thought she couldn't get pregnant, uh, and yet the blessed event occurred, okay, and then she would have had to trick Harry into, into believing that it's, that the child is his, okay? And that kind of makes sense because how in the world did Megan get past the security, uh, the palace security? Because she has so many skeletons in her closet. So let's briefly look at who is Marcus Anderson, and then we'll take a look at is he possibly the father of Archie? Because there's a lot of shenanigans going on with Archie. There's so many shenanigans going on that I think that just the Archie affair and all the shenanigans associated with Archie can sink the boat of definitely Megan. And if Harry's still standing there next to Megan with a ring on his finger, it'll also sink Harry for life. So who is Marcus Anderson? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's good friend who introduced the couple. So he's such a close friend and so influential that he introduced Meghan to Harry. Marcus has been in Meghan's inner circle for years and is reportedly her closest friend in the world. But who is this dashing chap? We've got the lowdown. Marcus Anderson is the global membership director at Soho House. Soho House is a worldwide, it's, it's in Paris, it's in New York, it's started in London, it's in LA, it's everywhere, okay? And very powerful celebrities go there. Jude Law had a thing where his child uh, picked a pill up off the floor and ingested it, had to be rushed to the hospital. Why was there like illegal drugs sitting on the floor? Well, because people are taking illegal drugs there. Here's Marcus Anderson with her two dogs. One of these dogs ended up getting a broken leg. We've since seen the beagle, so it's this dog would have had her, his or her legs broken and then be left in the United States. How does Marcus know Meghan Markle? Both Meghan and Marcus live in Toronto and reports suggest they've run in the same circles for years. So Marcus runs with very influential people and he's able to introduce Meghan to these very high level, very influential people, and he introduced her to Prince Harry. That's pretty influential. He also uh, went to Meghan's fabulous baby shower, the $500,000 baby shower in New York City. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Is Marcus Anderson the father of Archie? Uh, it's possible, and this has been brought up for so long by so many different people. We just have to look at it. Uh, Marcus Anderson and Megan are really two peas in a pod. Uh, he's the male version of Megan. He's, he's bisexual. He's very flexible. He moves in the highest circles. Okay, they're essentially ordinary folk who end up, you know, ended up rising to the highest circles. And I can definitely see Megan's attraction to him because he, he introduces her to very powerful people and very, very rich, very powerful people. And specifically, he introduced her to Harry, okay, which raised her to the highest place. So there's definitely... An attraction there. I mean, they're two peas in a pod. So let's look at Marcus and Archie. Is Marcus Anderson the father of Archie? And as I said, the only way this could have happened is 
a drunken or drink a drugging or drinking night of debauchery, which they're hard, hard party partiers. Megan and Harry were one of the reasons, one of the many reasons they were kicked out of Kensington is because they were having all night parties. You know, so as soon as Megan moved in with Harry, you know, they were just partying all night, helicopters flying in, cars, the French ambassadors after they moved to Frogmore, he's like, oh yeah, I'm going to miss Harry and Meghan. You know, so they're hard, hard partiers. And it's probably a lot of fun uh, to hang out with Meghan in the beginning, <clears throat> you know, before reality sets in. And there's a time for excess. You know, there's, it's not wrong uh, to have a drink now and then. Uh, you're just not supposed to do it to excess. You know, you need to blow some steam off here and there. So, is Marcus Anderson the father of Archie, of little Archie? Was there an oopsie, Marcus? That's interesting. Archie. Very interesting card. Is Marcus the father of Archie? Magi and Diamond Ring. Diamond Ring is connection 10 and 13, 23, 6 clubs. City is like a stranger card, but he manifested, and, and we have the deep rooting. We have uh, Olive Tree and Diamond Ring, which could say yes, but Archie's cards are... Interesting. We have the two hearts. We want to see twos. Okay, two hearts, two diamonds. These are really great cards to say that he is. Coffin can be secrets. Outside, 12, 14, four diamonds. Gosh, what an unusual spread. Outside, secrets. Kept outside, secrets, but very close connection. This would say... Uh, Marcus and and Archie are connected biologically, this would say, yeah, he did it. He he did it. But it's all being kept a secret. It's all very much being kept a secret and his his biological fatherhood is rejected. It's kept a secret and rejected even though he is the biological father. Wow. We're going to have to do some other readings, but he could definitely be the father. So all of these people commenting, you know, could be right. Because the obvious way, well, she didn't carry Archie. She didn't carry Archie in her body. Okay, so what could have happened and what probably happened Okay, and this is also an abortion card. What probably happened is there was an oopsie and she actually got pregnant, but she lost the child and it died. This can be abortion and death. So this is, you know, they're not in a relationship. Okay, so this can be that there was a baby that resulted from activities between Marcus and Megan. Okay, but that baby was taken away. That baby was aborted. Uh, so down here, snake and yes, 9 and 12, 21, 6 hearts. Under, okay, snake, snake is the internal organs, can be the internal organs. So yes, medical procedure. And this is also the caduceus, the, the snake, the caduceus for medicine. Yes, there was a medical procedure. So he did get her pregnant, uh, and there was a baby that resulted, but there was a medical procedure because very obviously she didn't carry this baby. Very obviously. So I think she tricked Harry, and we're going to take a look at that. So, but I think she got pregnant by Marcus Anderson. 
So what should have happened is Megan donates an egg, eggs, Harry donates sperm in a test tube. They're put together and then implanted into a surrogate. And she does. That's what should happen. Unless she's completely sterile and has no eggs, she needs to, she's going to donate eggs. And it's going to be her biological child and Harry's biological child. So we have player, butterfly, and heart. Okay, the player, just, he's, he's the right guy right now. Okay, 11 and 12, three spades. Three spades is the sexual act resulting in conception, the player, sex, conception, uh, and they do like each other, but it's not like it's not like they're really together long term. They're more friends, friends with benefits. So what I see here is a pregnancy did result from them, but that baby would have been aborted. So that wouldn't be Archie. That wouldn't be the Archie that we know. Let's look at Marcus. Marcus and Megan, are they living together? And it sounded like I was stating that they live are living together, but people believe they're living together, okay? And it's just really weird in Hollywood between uh, Megan, Harry, and, and Marcus. And people are saying, you know, you practically, it looks like you practically have to tie Harry to the chair to be in the same place with Megan, okay? And that's how bad it is. So I believe that Harry is mostly not with Megan at this time. So are Marcus Anderson and Megan living together? What is their relationship? Because that's possible. I don't know if he's at the LA Soho house. He's the, he's the overall manager. He could probably do it from wherever he is. Is Marcus living? What is their relationship? Marcus Oh boy. Oh my goodness. And Megan. Wow. What is Marcus and Megan's relationship? Are they living together? Devil and Earthquake and Three Black Birds, 21, 24. Their relationship has really hit the skids currently. Okay, disaster, and he's very angry at her. Uh, he is very angry at her, and he is it's really soured, and he might, you know, or, yeah, it's gone really bad between them. This is a relationship spread. They have broken up. You know, there's a, a big thing between them. They've, they've broken up, and he's very, very, very angry at her, and there's been some very angry words and actions. What's going on with Megan? Probably he feels like she's really screwing it up. Friends... Okay, reacting to circumstances in the situation. And Mother Earth, this, can, this is a pregnancy card. So either situation or pregnancy. 12 and 9, 21, 6 hearts. Still showing his friends. She still wants to be friends with him. He is very, very, very angry and upset at her right now. Okay, and she's going to try to get it back. He... He is not someone she wants to lose. Okay, on under the surface we have water into wine and roses, renewing the sweet relationship. Three clubs. So later they will they will patch it up and they'll renew the relationship. Okay, they will renew the relationship. Um, right now, <clears throat> Marcus is very upset with her. I don't see him living with her right now. They're having a really bad relationship right now. But she's very, this is a good sign actually. She's very, uh, she wants to keep the relationship. She, she doesn't want to let him go. So she, she has some loyalty to some of her friends. Uh, whether it's for the right reasons or it's just selfish motives. But she really wants to hang on to him and keep him as a friend. Even though he's very, very upset at her right now. And it could be anything, you know. Megan seems to be just completely blowing it. She made it to the highest place. Uh, all she does is complain and complain and complain. Uh, and people are just not impressed. Did Megan, okay, and this is the scenario that I think is the most likely. Did Megan trick Harry? The, old, the oldest trick in the book. 
I'm pregnant, Harry, is that would happen. Because we see them in, uh, uh, it was, it's, it's Skippy's wedding in, in Jamaica. And she stalked him there. She was supposed to go, he was supposed to go with Megan to Skippy's wedding. And then Harry broke up with Megan and Megan went, came to the wedding anyway. And there's some very uncomfortable footage of her at the wedding and they're fighting and, you know, she basically crashed the wedding. She wasn't invited. This is Harry's friend, Skippy. And Skippy advised her, advised Harry, you should not marry her. And so he's cut, she cut Skippy out of Harry's life. So did Megan trick Harry into marrying her by saying she's pregnant? Okay. And, and something like 30% of men are raising children, 30% of men in America are raising children that are not their own. Okay, they, the woman got pregnant by somebody else, didn't tell the man, and the man is now raising a child that is not his biological child. And so that's a very common, common trick. Okay, so did Megan trick Harry into marrying her by playing pregnant? Did Megan trick Harry by claiming to be pregnant? Woman and man. So, Megan and Harry, 25 plus 6, 31, 8 clubs, stranger. 8 clubs is here. Okay, someone else. She lied. Okay, incubus succubus. Megan lied to Harry. Uh, yeah, so that would say right on the surface, there's a lie in selfishness underneath the surface. Strength, outside influence, planting, planting the rooting committee. Okay, so union, planting this situation, this rooting uh, from outside. Okay, and this rooting, the, the foundation, the firm foundation and entering the royal family. Uh, okay, so committed to to being part of the royal family, committed to this direction in in life in the royal family. We have two sevens and committed from out, from outside. So did she trick Harry? She lied. The woman lied to Harry. Okay, it's someone else, someone from the city. <coughs> Marcus Anderson has the, this adds eight clubs. He has this club, this eight clubs right in the center of his spread. So it's probably Marcus. So yeah, Marcus got her pregnant. She tricked Harry. She was impregnated from outside. So she probably thought she was sterile and she couldn't get pregnant. And she had no desire like ever to be pregnant because she, she made uh, Trevor Engelson write a, a contract, a prenup, saying that he would provide uh, a personal trainer and yoga if she ever got pregnant and give her give her money or all kinds of crazy stuff because she didn't want to lose her figure, which is really strange. Uh, and I understand not wanting to lose her figure. I mean, there's lots of ladies who get pregnant and then uh, come bounce right back because it's very natural to get pregnant for a woman and then to recover. So anyway, this is clearly from outside. The sevens return from forever. Uh, she got pregnant by someone else. Okay, and she lied to Harry about it. So definitely she played that trick on Harry, and that's the most likely way. That would explain how she got into the royal family with all her skeletons. She was a yacht girl. She's this actress. They broke up. There was all this conflict with them, and yet she still got her foot in the door. Let's ask, is Archie, did she donate eggs to, for Archie? Okay, because obviously they used a surrogate. Obviously. She didn't carry that child in her belly. The child that is known as Archie, whether 
whether they're just using actors at this point, but the real Archie, did she donate her eggs for this Archie? Goodness gracious. Megan donate her eggs. King of Spades, Dr. Uh, crossroads, straight razor, surgery by a doctor, uh, taking a different path, 13 and 6, 19, 5 clubs, 5 clubs, took a different path. Okay, did she donate her eggs? There's nothing, none of these are biological cards. Okay, something else was done. Did she donate her eggs? I'm not seeing her material there. Let's see. Uh, Four Leaf Clover, Ruler, Olive Tree, Karmic Relationship, and Hand in Hand. Sixes are the relationship cards. We have 666, which is also Devil. Get off my foot. Uh, it's so hot here, things are sticking to my feet. And I didn't turn on the air conditioning on yet. Uh, uh, and if it goes up one degree, I'm going to turn the air conditioning on. But I haven't done it yet. So Olive Tree, karmic relationship, deeply rooted in the karmic relationship, many hands involved. Okay, plus this is a devil, 666 is devil, and they're all together like that. Uh, taking control opportunistically uh, to make the family, but there's many hands involved. I, I tentatively, this does not look like her baby. This does not look like her uh, egg. Let's just throw one more card. Is this, is Archie born of Meghan Markle's egg? Even if the surrogate kept Archie, is Archie born of Meghan Markle's egg? High Tower. It's medical. Cup overflowing is birth. Birth blocked medical. Six spades. Okay, not able to do it. Birth blocked medical, not able to do it. She was not able to donate an egg. She was not able to donate an egg. They did something else. The doctors had to do something else from someone else. They went out on the crossroads and got uh, material from someone else. It's all a big lie and deception. They took charge of it, this so she needed to produce a child. She's completely unable. So what we have here, this this is weirder and weirder. Okay, so she was not, uh, she's not the biological mother. Okay, she wasn't able to donate, a, she wasn't able to donate an egg, probably because of abortions. Okay, she tricked Harry she saw she did get pregnant and she tricked Harry. It's the oldest trick in the book. I'm pregnant. You have to marry me. And that's how she got into the palace. OK, with with. Uh, with Marcus and Archie. Marcus accidentally got her pregnant. OK, so this is not uncommon. Ladies and men think that they are completely sterile. And for years and years and years, it just simply has not been possible for for the woman to get pregnant or for the man, one or the other or both, to to make this happen. And she's probably someone who thought, I can't get pregnant. And it happened. Uh, she got pregnant by Marcus Anderson. This pregnancy, she, she tricked Harry into marrying her. I'm pregnant. And she actually was pregnant. Okay. And she probably lost it because there's all kinds of problems. Now, she couldn't do it again. It was a one-time trick. I bet she's sad that she aborted that child, or, or probably she didn't abort. If she tricked Harry, she wouldn't have aborted the child. She would have tried to keep the child. The child didn't make it. Okay? That happens a lot. More often than we hear, people don't like to talk about it. Okay? Is, is he living with Megan? No. Not right now, but Megan is really wants to keep this relationship and she wants to renew it. But boy, oh boy, is he upset at Megan right now. 
So there's a lot of there's a lot of weird stuff going on with Archie. Archie is not Megan's child, and that's going to come up in a divorce. Okay, she is not biologically Archie is not biologically her child. And I guarantee you that the royal palace knows this, and this is a really, really big deal. Okay, and I'm not sure they can just come out and say it. I don't know. I don't know how they would handle that. They would, I'm sure they've been thinking about it from the moment they found out about it. So that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.